everyone, it's Tammy, and today we're going to make this card together. I thought it was really cute, and I had a couple of the Digi images that I had gotten online somewhere. I apologize, I do not know where these, who drew these, or where I got them from. I have a stash of Digi stamps, and I did not keep track of where all of them came from, so I really do apologize for that. I'm trying to do a better job of that. I'm trying to fix part of that it was coming off but okay whatever <laughs> um this is the card we're going to make and I really like it because it's kind of a nice guy card because I don't have a lot of guy type cards and my husband loves to fish and I know a lot of people that love to fish my uncle my um, brother and then some people at work so if I wanted to give them a birthday card or something I could do that I even thought it might be fun to put best fishes on here if there was some occasion but I'm leaving it blank right now because I don't really have a birthday or anyone to give this to so it's just blank on the inside and it's kind of plain on the outside it's pretty simple to make and I thought that we could do it together so that you could see how to do it and I'm using um, my Bic mark it fine point permanent marker it says fine point but it's really has this kind of a point I think you guys can see that it's not exactly a I mean it has a fine tip but it's not as fine point as some of the others like I think this one is yeah see that looks like a fine tip to me this is called ultra fine point so just beware and I got this really cool kit of all different colors around Christmas time uh, so actually I think it was a Christmas present from my husband I'm pretty sure he got it on Amazon, but I'm not positive, but I love these because they're kind of fun to color with. I don't really do a lot of blending with these, obviously. Uh, I have used a couple colors on the fish, and I'll do that again, and I used a couple colors on the water, but you can't even really tell that I did that. So I will show you guys what I did exactly, but I think this turned out really cute, and I thought that you guys might like to see how to, to do it and give you an idea for kind of a simple yet kind of manly card. So first thing I did is I just picked out a green color. This one happens to be lime sherbet. I thought this was a good color for the fish. And I went ahead and cut him out already and I did a fussy cut just to save a little bit of time. I will sometimes like take digital images downstairs and watch TV with the family while I'm fussy cutting just to give myself something to do while we watch TV because I don't like to sit and watch TV very much. I'm kind of weird. I'm always usually doing something in addition to watching TV. So I'm just coloring around his vest and you know around the fishing pole and it's easier for me to outline kind of first and then use the broad side of the marker and just color. And if you have a technique that works for you then please you don't have to change. Be you. And if you don't have a technique and you were looking for something, though, this might work for you. I enjoy just outlining this stuff. And then just filling it in. I don't know why, but when I outline it, it feels like I don't go outside the lines which I don't know how that works. Oh, and I guess I need to do these too, these gills or fins or whatever these are called. I guess these are a fin. The gill would be on him, wouldn't it? On his, well, I was gonna say on his body, but this I guess is on his body too, but I think like that would be the gill, I don't know. I don't really know, I'm not a big fish person. Actually, they kind of creep me out a little bit, and this one is pretty ugly. But it just makes them kind of look fun to me. Kind of adds to the humor of the card. He's like, oh, stupid fisherman. <laughs> this is a really pretty color. I think it works out really well for a fish. Of course, I don't know what color a fish is supposed to be. I, I know some of them are really pretty. See, I didn't outline his eye and I went in his eyeball. Oops. Oh well. Just a little bit. You can't hardly tell. And I know a guy, when they get this card, they're not going to care. So I just color him in all the way like that. 
And then what I like to do is kind of leave my pin out, like in its spot, but out a little bit so I'll know where uh, to where it went or in what color I used. Oh, and I didn't color his eyes because if I need to do it again, I can get it out and color his eyelids. Although I think, yeah, in the other card I did his eyelids a different color. So, and this color is moonstone yellow, and I kind of went over like his scales. Just kind of quickly, just, you know, not really, not anything fancy, because it's just, I mean, it's just fish. And he looks like he's had better days, so I think that it's okay that you kind of go along with some of that. I do a little bit of the flicking thing like I do with my Copics. If it blended better, I would do obviously more flicking. I guess that's probably the reason you do that. I, I never really thought about it. I like his eyelids colored this color. And I have some old uh, cardstock that I'm like designer series paper um, that I'm going to use for the background. I'm just going to do a regular A2 sized card and for you, those of you that might be new at card making that is um, if you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of regular cardstock and cut that in half either way so that the card ends up either being four and a half by 11 which is what this is or if you cut it the other way it would be five and a half no it wouldn't it would be eight and a half by five and a half. Ooh. And then you just fold it in half and either way you end up with a card that is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches And that is an a2 sized card and that's what a lot of Cards are and that is also um, an a2 sized envelope So when you mail them out you just put them in an a2 sized envelope Which is a very common size and you can find those just about anywhere even uh, Target or some grocery stores even sell them. All this little stuff around his lips kind of made me feel like he was kind of an older fish, so I kind of made some of them a little darker, like he'd been around the block a little bit. I don't know, at least that's how I was thinking. Uh, I think that's about how I did the other one. So here's the other one. I may have done a little bit more here. There we go. And I also used the same color to color the bottom of his shoes. So I'll go ahead and color that. And the colors that we're going to use for the cardstock, it's, uh, the striped paper and this reddish paper which is just the back side which is part of the reason why I love using double-sided cardstock because then I know that the colors match and that it's perfect perfect so I will use this and so I kind of try to draw some of the colors out from here there's like a light blue or a gray a yellowy color a pink color which I'm not going to use a dark brown or maybe even a dark gray a forest green and then pink and orange so I kind of used those colors to pull out for him for the body of the little man and then also I thought this was kind of reddish kind of orangish so I used an orange color to color his the checks on his uh, vest or shirt and I need my Copic for the skin color because I don't have a good skin color in my markers so I'm gonna go ahead and color his little face. Oops, I just colored his eye. That's okay. So color his face in and his hand in and his other hand. And that's all I need the Copic for as far as I can remember. And then I'm going to, I think I will use this orange color. It is called Sunset Orange. And I'm going to just check mark his vest 
so like every other square I color and I do it opposite on each layer so that it looks like he has on a plaid flannel shirt Some of them don't match up quite as nicely, so I just kind of improvise and I think it looks fine. Sorry if my head is in the way, I don't think it is, but sometimes it's hard to say. Okay, there we go. And I did his shoes in a brown color. And I think I'll do dark brown because they look like those boots to me that um, some men wear like if they're hunting or fishing or whatever so that's where the, I got that color in my head and then the vest I'm gonna do in a forest green which I don't know there's meadow green and forever green I think I'll use the forever green Probably either color would be just fine but yeah this is the color I had in my head and the color I used on the other card do, 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 do. I love coloring and I think I'll just make the fishing rod this color too most of it's already black and doesn't need any color. My husband's favorite color is green, so I like to use green when I can. Okay, I think that's good. And then I will do his hat in a lighter blue color, or lighter blue, lighter brown color. My dad actually had a hat like this. Little hooks and stuff in it. Kind of funny. And I'm going to do the water in this light blue and then I'll also do it in a green color. This is the light blue that I highlighted with the last one and you couldn't really see it. You could see mostly the more green color but I thought that I'd want it to be a little blue or Again, use the colors you have. Because if you make it with love, it's going to be liked no matter what. It's going to be loved. Okay, so now I'm going to take this like aqua color. What is this? Tropical teal. And I'm going to color a little bit over... I don't know if it'll make a difference or not, or that looks like it's doing a little something something. Just making it not so blue. And I think I'm gonna do his eye in this color too. And I think that might be it. Oh no no no, I need to do the silver. No no no. I need to do the silver on his hat, like these are hooks. And um, this little thing, whatever this is called, the reel, rod and reel, and I'll do that too. And I think that's about everything I did on this card. Duplicated it on this card. Oh, I see I did a little bit more of the silver on that reel, rod. I just put some here on those things. Okay, I think that's good. And so now let's finish up the rest of the card. I'm going to put these away really quick though. And since you put them 
back kind of where they belong. It's not so hard to put them back. And I don't know why I'm so anal about putting things where I got them because it's really not important. You could take them all out and put them in a different holder if you wanted to, but I'm just weird. And this is the set. It's a 36 set with a storage case, big market permanent markers. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so now for the card. Let's take the four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock, folding that in the middle to again make this an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is going to be a side open card, so it's going to be a card that you will sit out like that. And I need to cut a piece of my card stock. I'm going to cut this a quarter inch smaller, so I'm going to cut this four inches. And then I will cut it four by five and a quarter. When you're dealing with stripes, be sure that you're cutting it so you have the stripes going in the direction that you want. I wanted mine up and down, but if you wanted them side to side, you'd have to cut the paper so that it was, you know, longer this way. But this is the way I wanted it. And then I also want a little piece of this, and I didn't really measure. I'm going to say I wanted about two and a half inches by about three inches, I think. That should do it. It's just for a decoration. And I'm using a little bit of twine. I got this twine from the dollar store. <laughs> so this whole thing was a dollar. Which it's it's not real great twine. It's kind of thick and not super easy to work with, but it's not horrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ATG gun and put this down on the card. You can see I needed to replace my blade and I did. And so this is the difference when you need to replace your blade and when you have a new blade cuts way way better but on this side you couldn't really tell so I didn't bother to cut it again so I'm just putting that down and then I'm going to take just some regular scotch tape and tape this on one end oops I don't want the scotch tape to show there um, not a big deal just wrap it as many times as I cut this stuff I don't even know how many times it will go we'll just see looks like four so as many times as it will go and then I just make sure it's flattened and then I put another piece of tape over all of those and I kind of push down to make sure that it gets all of them especially the ends and then that is going to go actually over here and I should have done a little bit more toward the end because I had to mess with the other one and I'm doing the same thing this time I didn't learn my lesson there, that's fine that will work out just fine and then I'm going to put a little bit more tape on here than I would just because it's going to be awkward to stick down and I want the twine to be closest to the edge because this is a big image so I'm just kind of eyeballing it to center it and then I push all the edges down and this twine is just gonna stick up. If it was a girl that I was giving this card to, I would put a piece of twine around here and tie it in a bow or a knot or I'd put some buttons or something on here. But since it's for a guy, I don't think that they'd really even want anything. So I try to keep it a little bit rustic. And then we'll put this fish right here. And I'm just going to, kinda looks like you colored with Copics when you look at the back. I'm going to run my ATG gun here and then I'm also going to get the fine points with this little uh, snail adhesive. So I'm just making sure that all the little fine edges are caught with some tape so that they won't catch on anything. And you could even do stamp and dimensionals on here. Or if you wanted to, you could even do one of those little things that goes boing, 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 boing. That would be cute. So we'll put him down. Oh, whoops, and see, look what I did. Oh, nope, I did tape it, but I didn't stick him down very well. That's why you want to put tape on all the little edges. Like this one, I need a little bit more tape. Oh, 
Well, goodness, I didn't do so well. I talk, a, I talk a big game, don't I? And I got a little bit on the outside, so I can just rub that off with my finger. Or I bought a handy dandy eraser thing that I haven't used yet. This is from Pebbles, and you're supposed to, I don't know what that is. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Why is that all goopy? I don't know, but you're supposed to be able to like erase tape with it. Oh yeah, and it works. Huh, well cool. I don't know what the goopy stuff is on it, but there we go. A card and it was very quick to make and you could put anything you wanted on it. Thank you. Have a great day. Miss you. Hope you make the big catch. Good luck. Anything. You know, happy birthday. Or best fishes. <laughs> Which I will wait and put my sentiment on when I need to give it. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Happy crafting.